So here's my idea. I'd like to make a ceramic egg by putting slip inside of an eggshell, firing it, burning away the shell, leaving an egg behind. And I'd also like to see if I could make a glazed ceramic egg inside of a shell. The idea being I would take a hollow shell, put a glaze on the inside first, and put a slip inside of that, and hopefully I can make a glazed ceramic egg inside the shell. And we'll fire it and burn away the shell and see what's left. Let me show you that now. So if you look online for advice on how to pierce and blow out an egg, the suggestion is made that you should be able to take a needle or a pin and just stick it right into the shell. Some say you need to push hard and kind of grind the tip in there, but man, this is not easy. I was convinced the whole time I'm doing it, I'm going to stab myself, but there is something about trying to jam a tiny needle through an eggshell that is <laughs> stupid hard and you're just, you're going to stab yourself. So. Uh, good luck with that. It did eventually work out, but uh, not an easy task. So for the first test, I'm going to start with three eggshells because I want to do at least two and I'm afraid at least one is going to break in the next process. But I have tiny holes from where we used a needle and blew out the egg. I'm going to use this travel tool. I'm going to enlarge one of the two holes because I need it big enough to be able to pour the glaze in. Well, that works surprisingly well. So I have three eggshells to test now. Okay, so I have the three eggshells and I have some casting slip. So I'm gonna Oof. Now I have not worked with this before and you might think that that looked really thin. Um, I think it does look pretty thin. But I'm gonna do one of these three eggshells just with the slip, no glaze. So it'll be, it'll be a test. Ooh. Okay. I anticipated I'd have to hold my finger and just wait. So. It's a hot day. I'm going to wait a couple of minutes. I'm going to turn the camera off and come back to you and see if I can uh, spot any wall building up as I hope it does. Okay, so it looks like it's starting to thicken up. I'm going to see if I can get it to come back out. One of the things I worried about is, you know, once this back hole is plugged, will it allow them the rest to flow out I don't know Let's see if I can motivate it to do so well it's coming slowly well I don't mind a thick wall as long as it's not solid so the fact that this is coming out at all is a good sign all right I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna let that it feels heavy I'm excited about that in a little bit, I'll come back and I'll probably sponge that off. But next, I want to get glazes in these two. So next up, I want to put some glaze in this one. Okay, so I have John's Noxema that I want to fill this up with. Cone 5 dark blue glaze. Making a bit of a mess. Ooh. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna let this just sit, then I'll pour out the rest back into the bucket. I'll come right back to you. Okay, so I'm about ready to dump the glaze, and I was hoping I'd see like a, a wall building up inside, uh, kind of like you might with the slip, but I must say I really can't. But I've waited a minute or two, and I hope I have a big enough film to give me a glaze coat. So I'm gonna dump this now, I'll come right back to you. So there we are. I'm going to wipe off the outside, but I don't see much of a film on the inside, but I'm hoping there's something there. Uh, but I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to let this dry. We're going to get glaze into that one too, a different color. So I'll have two different colors to test. And then we'll put the slip inside that. And hopefully that combination will give us a glaze on the outside of a ceramic egg on the inside. Okay, third color. Well, third egg, second color, 
Yeah, I'm going to put a black in here. Both the black and the... Oof, oof, I'm missing. Terrible spelling. Both the black and the blue are really powerful glazes. Uh, and you know they're designed to soak into a bisque body, which there's nothing here on the inside of the egg. Uh, in fact, there's probably some sort of resistance from the film from the inside of the egg itself. Oh, spillage. I think I got it there. Okay. So my point is there's not going to be a whole bunch of glaze on the inside, but I hope that there's some, and I've chosen the blue and the black because they're powerful glazes, and if there's a little bit there, we should be able to see it. So I'm going to let this dry up, pour out the rest. We're going to come back and put slip into these two. Okay, so I'm ready to put the the slip into those two eggs. Now I'm not convinced at all that I'm mixing my slip correctly. It seems kind of lumpy. I probably should pour the whole thing out of the bottle into a bucket and stir it correctly, but I'm not. I'm just squeezing little bits. That's very unattractive noises. Okay. Let's see if I can get this to go in there. Oh, come on. Don't be difficult. Okay, sponge off the excess and we'll let this sit for a little bit and build up a film. Oh, it's a mess. All right. Let's fill this one up here too. And a little leaky leak out there with a little glaze too, that's a bummer. So I'll just go ahead and hold this before we dump it. So you can you're not really gonna be able to see, but I can tell you by the weight of these two that we put the glaze in first, that it just did not build the wall like this one. And even this is feeling a little light. But this is what it looked like when I poured the slip out. Uh, the glaze was coming out with it, which means we either have a really, really thin shell, or I should have let these things sit for some uh, huge amount of time, way more than I did, and uh, let them thicken. So if these fail because they're too thin, it's probably because I poured it out too quick, as evidenced by the glaze in the excess slip. So let me show you what happened to the eggs. We have one egg missing. I can see shells down there. We have one egg partial and one egg completely missing. And you can see little pieces of eggshell all over. So at least and down the side. So I'm thinking the two that are missing were just straight up explosions. But let me get them out and we'll take a closer look. I do not expect them to be completely gone, I must say. So but before I go picking at the one that has something left, this is where the two were sitting where the egg was completely gone. And so I wanted to show you that. They do have a slight color to them. One more blue, one more tan. And this gray, I believe, is a real, real thin combination of uh, the casting slip and glaze. But it's interesting. This this definitely is a different thing than the white shell, for sure. Let me take you over here to this one. This little spot. Same sort of thing. You, know, you got these big pieces. That is not eggshell. This white is the eggshell. So, yeah, so there's that. I'm not sure. These failures could have happened because I didn't make sure to go back with a needle tool and poke a hole. I don't know what I was thinking about that. It's pretty obvious now. Okay, so again we have this white part, which I believe to be the shell. And then we have... Now this one egg did feel heavier than the rest, and I don't know if it was excess, feels like there's something that wants to 
stick together here. Interesting. I think I left a excessive casting slip in this and it settled at the bottom. But one egg was definitely heavier than the rest. And the shell. Well, so this is a fail. But I want to try it again. This time I'm going to make sure I leave the casting slip in longer to make it a thicker shell. And number two, I'm going to make sure to reopen a vent hole in every egg. So hopefully this does not happen again. Alright, let's try it again.